Intermediate Accounting 10C Ratio Sustained Growth Rate. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. We have our Facebook page, St. Louis Test Prep, our LinkedIn group, MBA Accounting and Finance. So I wanted to talk about this term called sustained growth rate and sustainable growth rate, SGR, which refers to uh, we all want to be in business and sustain our businesses. How fast can we grow under our current circumstances? And that has a lot to do with how, what do we do with our earnings? What do we do with our earnings? So just as sort of a warm up here, let's think about return on equity, which is defined as net income divided by stockholders equity. If I click on this cell, I find that if my net profit is $50,000 and my stockholders equity is $450, one divided by the other is 11 percent. So for every dollar of stockholders equity I'm making 11 cents of net income. The other part of the sustained growth rate formula is dividend payout ratio which has to do with the percent of earnings that you pay out as a dividend. There are two things we can do with the dividend with earnings, excuse me. We can pay them out to shareholders in the form of a dividend or we can retain them as earnings. And the question is, what percentage are we paying out as a dividend? In this example, it happens to be zero. So if I take the ROE, the return on equity, and I subtract one minus the dividend payout ratio, I get 11%. Now why one minus the dividend payout ratio? That represents the earnings that you're keeping to use in your business. That represents your retained earnings, the earnings you're keeping to use in your business. So that percentage multiplied by the return on equity gives you your sustained growth rate. Well, what if we change the example and our net income is $70,000 rather than $50,000, which would be 7% of a million, 70000 well, our return on equity is the same type of formula. It would be, if I click on it, 70000 divided by a million dollars in revenue to get 16%. I'm still paying out zero of my earnings as a dividend, so my sustained growth rate is higher, 16%. There's, a, uh, there's good news and bad news, though, when it comes to growth. What if in the current year we have revenue of a million, net profit of 50000 By definition, that means that we have expenses we've incurred of 950000 because a million revenue less 950000 expenses equals net profit. That profit as a percentage of revenue has to, is uh, 5%, which is net profit of 50, divided by revenue of a million. So for every dollar we sell, we make five cents, 50 divided by a million. What if we want to keep our profit as a percentage of revenue the same, but we would think our sales can grow by 30%? Will we need more money? Well, our revenue goes up 30% to 1.3 million. 65,000 allows me to keep the profit as a percentage of revenue number the same at 5%. So 65,000 divided by a million three gets me that same 5%. Well, here's the catch. The good news is the revenue goes up to 1.3 million, but at a net profit of 65,000, that means I have expenses incurred, A minus B, of a million. 235,000. So I need to go out and get the difference between a million 235 and 950. I need 285,000 additional dollars to pay the expenses if my revenue is going to be 30 percent higher. And The question is where do I get it? Because if I don't have it in cash, I'm going to have to issue equity or issue debt. There's only two ways to raise money to run your business at a very basic level. One is equity, one is debt. So that is an example of sustaining your business as you grow. 
more growth equals a greater need for cash. That's as far as we're going to get on Intermediate Accounting 10C. Our Not on the Web series or additional videos and spreadsheets not on YouTube. Our YouTube channel, Ken Boyd STL. You can email for a complete list of videos on YouTube. For live one-on-one -on -one tutoring and chat sessions, stltest.net is the website. Here's our email on our phone. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.